Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to find out whether the software is 32-bit or 64-bit in any Windows computer. So, before proceeding further, let me show you one thing. Just go to this PC, just right click it and go to properties. Now, in the properties, you can see here a system type, 64-bit operating system, that is our the processor which I'm using in my Windows computer is a 64-bit so the operating system is also a 64-bit and my processor also a 64 best processor as you can see and if your computer is a 32-bit then it will be showing you a 32-bit here you will get if your processor is 32-bit then x86 you will get instead of 64 for 64-bit it will show x64 best processor and if your operating system is 32 bit then it will show you a 32 bit operating system my operating system is 64 bit and my processor is also a 64 bit the advantage of 64 bit is that in 64 bit you can run both the 32 bit and the 64 bit softwares and if you're using a 32 bit operating system then you can run only a 32 bit softwares so I'm not going to elaborate much about this 64-bit and 32-bit, just we'll find how we can check whether the softwares that we have installed in our Windows computer is 32-bit or 64-bit. So let's proceed further. So for this, firstly what you need to do, you need to open any web browser and you need to visit to this website. I'll be providing this website link too in the video description so you can click there and log into this website once you log into this website you can see its web page now here you will see a lots of download so here make it, let me make you clear that I've shown you earlier if your computer supports 64 bit or 32 bit so if you're using a 32 bit operating system then download this 32 bit as you can see here in 32 bit operating system and if your computer is using a 64 bit operating system then download the 64 bit software so you download and install it and after installing what you need to do is on your computer keyboard you need to press win plus r to open the run program now here what you need to type cmd just type cmd you can click ok or hit enter on your computer keyboard now the command prompt program will get open now here what you need to do is so you need to type this command I'll be providing this commands too in the video description so that you can just copy and paste it for your easy reference now what you need to do is just paste it now after typing or pasting it just hit enter now it will move to the 7g folder which I have just installed and now next thing again you need to type this more common so before pasting it let me show you here I have a software named as Audacity so I gonna check whether this software is a 32 bit or a 64 bit so just let me show you by going in the properties You need to copy this locations. You need to copy this locations and you need to copy this name also. And remember the file should be exe file dot exe as you can see dot exe. So you need to copy this link. So let me show you here. So you can see here the location you need to copy. So you can see here whether it's same or not let me show you here you can see so you can see here just you need to type this common 7z dash or space l space now after typing this you need to paste here and you need to type slash and you need to type the name of the software so you can just copy this one this one you can copy now after that you need to type this common now after typing this complete command how you can check 
the software is whether 32 bit or 60 bit just hit enter on your computer keyboard now you can see here cpu equals x86 that means the software as you can see this software audacity software is a 32 bit software so it's not a 64 bit if it is mean a 64 bit then you would have seen here x64 x86 means a 32 bit so in this way you can easily check if the software is a 32 bit or a 64 bit that you were using in your windows computer very easily so if you find any difficulty in understanding this video tutorial feel free to leave your comments below i will try my best to help and guide you with your problems and i'm sure this will gonna help you in someday if you are willing to find out if the software is a 32 bit or a 64 bit and you are in a bit conditions then you should definitely check this tutorial out so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching